Hello and welcome to episode 20 of Zero to Hero. Yes, welcome back to episode 20 of Zero to Hero. I'm Wes and in today's episode we'll be taking on Sully Moores in the Vanarama National League North playoff semi-final and depending on how we get on in the semi-final we will show you the final if we get to the final today. Now since you were last with me you saw the last two games of the season against Leamington and Workington. We drew against Leamington 2 all and beat Workington 4-0 which meant we finished in third place in the Vanarama National League North. We finished with a 70, uh, 75 points, a goal difference of plus 30. Only team with a better goal difference than us was Telford, and they finished second. Harrogate did win the league by one point, and we were seven points behind them. So we weren't too far away. Jack Blackford finished second with assists in the league. Other than that, I don't think... I wonder where, where did Robles come on the top goal scorer? He was four, equal fourth on 23 goals in the league, but he has scored, I think, 27 for us in all competitions this season. Yeah, 27 for us in all competitions. It's been the best season of his career so far. I mean, in, in the 22 appearances he made for us last season, he only scored eight goals. His average rating's been fantastic at 7.10. And he's been weighing in with the assists as well and player of the match awards. So he's been absolutely fantastic. And we will be trying to get, get him to re-sign with us for next season. Also, players that we're looking to re-sign for next season include players like Charlie Walford, our left-back. He's currently on loan with us, but his his contract's up with his parent club, Port Vale, in the summer, so we're going to try and sign him on a free. Hopefully they won't try and sign him on a on a, like a longer deal, so we won't have to pay for him. Oliver Finney, he's been back up for us mostly this year, purely because Marcus Wood and Pozo have been fantastic in midfield, and he, he's only been playing as a substitute mostly, because he, it's not that he doesn't play well when he's in the team, it's just that Pozo and Wood have been outstanding and they've not done anything to warrant me dropping them other than, than being injured. Again, he's going to be uh, available on a free transfer at the end of the season. And Jack Blackford, who's currently out injured, he his contract with Hartlepool was up at the end of the season so we'll be trying to sign him as well because he's been really good for us this season weighing in with a lot of assists in important games I mean he's played 36 games for us scored 7 goals, 14 assists and an average rating of 7.08 5 player of the match awards as well, again the probably the best season of his career so far so hopefully we'll be able to get him on a free Other than that, I mean, players that could be leaving us, Matt Red hasn't really made any appearances for us this season of any note. Joe Thompson spent most of the season out injured, so he'll probably go. Because we have Dawson and Knight, who have been very good this season. Gomez will probably go, because again, he's spent most of the season out injured. Dave Richards wants to leave the club. And he didn't he he didn't play well for us when we brought him in, and Brooke has been absolutely outstanding. So we're gonna probably keep him as our first choice goalkeeper. So Dave Richards will be moving on, and we'll be looking for another backup keeper next season. But other than that, I think we're gonna try and keep a lot of the players that we've that we have had this season because they've been very very good. Hardly put a foot wrong all season. We will try and make additions where possible to try and strengthen where we need it. I mean, I think we could do with uh, another another centre-back, 
maybe another right back and a backup left back. Other than that, I mean, we've got Ben Donnelly Blackburn who has fantastic potential as left back, but he doesn't really get in the side because Walford's been ever present for us. And he's still young, so he... I mean, Blackburn's only a year younger than him, so he needs to start realising some of his potential, otherwise he's not going to get in the side. Anyway, we'll go on to our uh, semi-final against Solihull Moors. And this is the team we're going with. We're going with Brook in goal, Walford, Sharon, Dean and Edwards at the back, a midfielder Pozo and Wood. Nolan replacing the injured Blackford and Knight on the right wing and then a front two of Robles and Gilchrist coming back into the side for these playoffs. He's not completely match fit but hopefully he will be able to make a decent contribution. We have got Chris Speed and Nigel Jones on the bench in case he needs to uh, come off. Also Robles can uh, switch out to the left wing if we need to bring Nolan off because he's not match fit either. On the bench we have Arlen Birch, Chris Speed, Oliver Finney, Donnelly Blackburn and Nigel Jones. Going with an attacking mentality, structured team, shaping the same team instructions we've had all season. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, beat Solihull Moors. We are favourites for this match. They beat Kettering in their quarter-final. They beat them 2-0 in normal time to go through to face us. But like I say, we are, we're at home, which is fantastic advantage for us. And we are favourites for this game. And given that they only played a game, this, their quarter-final, three days ago, I think we'll have the edge on fitness. As you can see, a lot of my players are all in the 90s. And theirs are all in 80s and 70s, so we should be having the edge on fitness today. Dean plays the ball forward to Robles, and he's put us 1-0 up early on, 17 minutes in. Goal number 28 for him this season. Can he reach the big 30? With a lot of this game still to go, and the... Uh, potential of the final he could quite easily reach 30 it was a good finish from him big lump ball forward from Dean and it just he just ran onto it and put the ball in and great finish from close range Gilchrist with a shot forcing a save out of the Solihull keeper and now we've got the corner Walford can't find anybody though he sticks across in a second time still can't find anybody and that's the end of that highlight We've had three shots on target, and uh, all three, sorry, we've had three shots, all three of them been on target so far. We're not usually this clinical. Robles through again and forces another save, and we've got another corner. Walford with the corner again, hopefully he can do better this time round, but he can't even beat the first defender. We need someone a bit better with the corners, I think. Walford's our best option at the moment, but more, time, more often than not, he doesn't even beat the first man. And when we, if we move up into the next league, I think set pieces are going to be a big part of our game next season because we're going to be underdogs in pretty much every single match. It's a tough league to get out of the Manorama National League because, like in this league, only one team goes up automatically and that's the winners of the league and then it's playoffs again. So it's a very difficult league to get out of. From the looks of things, Chorley are 1-0 up in their semi-final. So potentially we could be facing Chorley, which fills me with a bit of um, a bit of doubt that we might go up because the last time we played Chorley, we weren't very good at all. Saying that, I'm not sure how we did last time we played Telford either. But we're only 20, 30 minutes or so away from... Our first trip to Wembley in this series. I mean, they're looking at their team, they're all absolutely knackered. And that is the advantage of finishing in second and third. You don't have to play that quarter-final leg 
so you always you have the edge on fitness and as I say that one of my old players Andy Rinamata who we had at Barrow has just scored for Solihull Moors making it one all and there's no second leg in this it goes to extra time and penalties if it's level after 90 minutes second half Solihull have been well, they've had a lot of more a lot more shots they've had, now had eight shots only two of them have been on target but uh, we've only had one shot more since the uh, goal Rinamata threw again and nearly put them 2-1 up 73 minutes in I'm going to make some changes Pozo having a terrible game, unlike him, really. And Nolan's not having a very good game, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push Robles out to the left wing, have him playing as an inside forward on support. And then we're going to bring on Chris Speed in place of Owen Nolan. And then we're going to bring Pozo off and bring on Oliver Finney. Hopefully he can make a contribution. Gilchrist not having a very good game either. So he needs to turn things around pretty sharpish. Otherwise, we'll be seeing Nigel Jones before the end of this game. We're 80, nearly 80 minutes in now. We've got a highlight. Finney with the ball. Plays it forward to nobody, really. And now, oh, luckily, he's managed to win the ball back in midfield. Wood playing it forward to Robles. Robles through to speed, and he's put us 2-1 up. So that's a goal and an assist from Robles and Chris Speed, the substitute. Once again, having an impact off the bench. It was a good ball forward from Wood. Robles ran right to the byline, just crossed it into uh, Speed and he still had a lot to do from there. The keeper got a touch on it but couldn't quite keep it out. Chorley is still 1-0 up in their game. And I think Telford have missed a penalty to equalise so it looks like we'll probably be playing Chorley in the uh, final Gilchrist is coming off not had a good game at all we're going to bring on Nigel Jones have him play as a defensive forward on support and that will be our final change I'm not going to take it off attacking because every time we do we just invite pressure on ourselves and end up conceding we've got four minutes of added time and we're halfway through that now and it looks like we should be edging this one and going to Wembley we just need to keep them out luckily they were offside there and that's full time we're going to Wembley everyone we're in the playoff final and we're going to have a look to see who we're going to be playing I believe it's going to be Chorley yep yeah, we are playing Chorley in the Vanarama North playoff final and that game will be played in a week. So we've got time to recover. We'll come back when we're ready for the playoff final. Okay, so here we are ready for the playoff final against Chorley. We're going to name an unchanged side uh, for the final. So we're going with Brooking Goal, Wolford, Sharon, Dean and Edwards at the back. Pozo and Wood in midfield, Nolan and Knight on the wings, and Gilchrist and Robles up front. Same team shape, same mentality, same team instructions, even the same bench. I thought the playoff final was at Wembley, but actually we we're playing at home. So we have the advantage there again, and hopefully that will be good for us. Because last time we played Chorley, we, we didn't win. Uh, they played much better than we did. And hopefully we can just, even if we just win by one goal, I don't care. I, I, I want to get promoted. Because I think if um, if we can't get promoted this season, then I need to look for another job in the summer. I know I've just signed another contract to keep me here for another year. But I think it's time to move on. Because if I can't take them up into the next league, I can't take them there next season. So... I think it would be time for me to take a step up, maybe into a league, the football league side, completely bypass the uh, Vanarama National League. I was offered that job at South End, but I didn't take it 
because I thought I would make I I wanted to get through an entire season managing the same club because I haven't done it so far in this series and I thought I I just didn't want to take too big a jump and end up having to come back down again like I did before and it looks like we're defending now and that was a good save from Brook to keep it level we're nearly at half time and it's been quite a boring first half to be honest very few highlights to speak of and we've gone in at half time nil nil so far so good really we haven't looked like scoring but we haven't looked like conceding either apart from that one highlight that they had but we defended well and it was a good save from Brook so I mean as long as we defend well we'll be okay because that's been our weakness this season holding on to leads that we, we get early on and we just can't we can't keep hold of them so if we can nick a late a late goal where they haven't got time to to equalise looked like we was about to concede there from the corner but we've managed to break away Wood with the ball now forward to Gilchrist and he tried to get a shot away but the, it was blocked by the defender and that was the end of the highlight we're 60 minutes in now I mean we've had more of the possession and we've had more shots We've had five shots, four on target, and we've had 58% of possession. But we're just not having any highlights. And they were through on goal, and it was a good save from Brook. 68 minutes in now to defend the corner, which we've struggled with this season. But Pozo with the header clear. We just need to get the ball back and break on them. Good interception from Edwards, putting it out for a throw. We're 70 minutes in now. I'm going to make some changes. Dean not having a very good game. Our captain. So I think we're going to bring him off. And bring on Arlen Birch. For him. Lewis Knight not having a very good game either. But we don't have a right winger. Gilchrist could play right wing. And then I could bring Chris Speed on. Like I did last time. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to push Gilchrist out to the right wing and then I'm going to bring off Lewis Knight and bring on Chris Speed and have Speed and Robles up front even though Robles isn't having a very good game. I might actually switch them round because last time these two played in the in this way round they played really well and Robles got man of the match so we're going to do that for now. See if we can uh, get a goal. Pozo with the ball. To Gilchrist, up to Robles, plays it forward to Speed, back to Robles, who plays it back to Gilchrist, he crosses it in and once again, Chris Speed has come off the bench and scored a crucial goal for us. Assist from Robles on that one, he played it out to Gilchrist, who crossed it back into him, he played it across the six yard box and he just thumped it in, Chris Speed always comes up with the goods when we need him to and that could be the goal that propels us into the Vanarama National we're 80 minutes in I don't want to change I don't want to go defensive because we always concede when I do that I'm going to make our final substitution I'm going to bring off Pozo because he's knackered and bring on Finney Gilchrist has been playing a lot better since he switched out to the wing and Robles has been playing a lot better since he switched to deep lying forward. So I'm taking credit for that because I did it. Five minutes to go of normal time now. We just need to not concede. I just don't know how. We've got four minutes of stoppage time and it's just gone straight through that. We're way over, a minute over now. Brooks got the ball and that could be it. Blow the whistle referee. That's it, it's all over. We've been promoted via the playoffs and we're going to be in the Vanarama National League next season. I really did not expect this at the beginning of the season. I thought maybe we would have a push for the playoffs and maybe struggle, but we've been fantastic. We've managed to sign some really good players and they've played absolutely fantastic each and every one of them has been outstanding this season and they've got the results when they mattered let's see what we're going to have budget wise for next season 
budget of 42,000 and a, a massive increase in wage budget that's nearly three thousand pounds a week more which is good we also managed to sign before the playoff final we managed to re-sign Robles and Dean on extended contracts for less money than what they were on originally so we're saving a little bit of money there but that's great we're going to be able to bring in some more players this summer and hopefully challenge the teams in the Vanarama National League who knows we could come up against my old team Barrow if they're still in this league FC United delight at unexpected promotion yeah I know what they I know what they're saying Oxford boss was there watching Pozo, was he? Well, we best try and offer him a contract. I'm, I'm not going to make you sit through me contract negotiations with Pozo. We're going to end the episode there. It's been a great season. If you like that, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe for more Football Manager 18 content. And thank you very much for watching.